YouTube. I'm back with another video. So tonight is going to be real quick and easy. I'm doing a moon bath. So I don't know if y'all know what a moon bath is, but I'm going to break it down to you. So see. during a full moon, you take a bath. You're supposed to add like certain things to it, which I'm going to go over in a second. But basically it heightens the way your body absorbs the minerals from like the salt, from the Epsom salt and things like that. On top of that, it's like a detox. And then on top of that, it helps with like fertility and women and balances out your hormones and things like that. So it's just a whole bunch of good benefits from a full moon bath. And then it's like relaxed and it's supposed to reset your body. So it's like a full detox, you know, when you're going through something, you just want to let it all go, bring in all the good energy, let out all the toxins. So that's what a full moon bath is. And I'm going to show you what I'm doing for mine. I was kind of, I forgot because my memory is so bad. I forgot all those like ingredients. So I'm just going to do like tell y'all what to put in it and I'm going to tell y'all what I'm putting in mine. Heads up, I don't have a jacuzzi. I'm just going to be in a regular old bathtub, but it does the job. So I do have Epsom salt. I have lavender Epsom salt, which is perfect. Um, I have milk. You're going to need lemon peels if you have um, rose petals, which I meant to go get some earlier at the supermarket, but I don't feel like going back out. So this is what you're going to need. Ginger root. I don't have really any of this stuff, but because it's a full moon and I have milk and lavender Epsom salt, I feel like, you know, I'm still going to do it because I still want to get the benefits of it. But at least your Epsom salt would be better than mine tonight. But the next one when I do it, I'm going to make sure I have everything. But I still don't want to let a full moon go past and I don't do it. You know what I'm saying? So let's get right into yeah, it. So I just want to let y'all know before we get started. If you don't have like ginger root, you can use like ginger tea. You can put a couple tea bags in there. It's really good for your body too. They have like a herbal tea going on. So I actually do have that and I'm going to use that. But if you have rose petals, that's perfect. If you have like leaves from a tree, whatever, because it's like, um, you know, those are like our ancestors. So it's like drawing in the energy and, you know, bringing all the good energy from the trees and wisdom and all of that. So, yeah, you want to grab all of that. Um, lemon peels, rose petals, lavender. If you got like actual lavender plant, you can use that. And then um, milk, coconut milk or regular milk. I'm going to be using regular milk because I stopped at Wawa and grabbed it. And then, so this is all the ingredients that I'm putting in mine tonight. So I'm putting the lavender Epsom salt. You gotta have some Epsom salt. I'm putting the milk. I'm gonna put some um, lemon oil extract. And then I'm gonna use the honey ginger tea. To make it like an herbal tea. I'm also wearing my rose quartz crystal, which is really good for positive energy, bringing love, peace, calmness, and tranquility into your life. So. That's what I'm doing. I told y'all all the things that you need. And this is some like substitutions, but it'll still be really good. Bring your water. I did find some grapefruit peels. <laughs> I just skinned the grapefruit because it's still from the earth. So I thought it would be still beneficial. Um, you know, so I grabbed those. I grabbed a couple candles. You want to light your candles. This is going to be dark. You want it to be dark. Except for your candles burning, you know, so you can be very tranquil and calm. Alright, so we have enough water to start. So I'm gonna just start adding everything in. I know this seems crazy guys, but I mean if it brings good energy, why not, right? so good like, this is instant tea so it is just mix right in everything honey ginger tea I'm gonna add one more I don't think four is necessary I'm gonna do one more All right, I lit my candles and I'm ready to go, mama. So you just want to submerge your body into the water and the, just, you know, meditate for 30 to 40 minutes. 
and um, put on some common music, whether it be jazz, whatever the case, you know, whatever works for you. Um, when you get all the ingredients in there, you just want to take your foot around and just swirl it up so that it mixes everything in and all of that before you get in. And, you know, let me know. Let me know how you feeling afterwards. I have titles, so I just put in Deep Meditation. A little playlist came up, and I rocked out with that. You just want to think all positive thoughts, have good energy, and just, you know, think about the things that you want in life and meditate on them. Keep your phone away. You don't need your phone, period. One thing you can do with your phone is to set an alarm so you don't fall asleep, but close your eyes, you know, relax. If you got them little masks, put the mask on, you know, do that and enjoy. Make sure y'all come back to my channel. I hope you like this. I hope this was useful for you. And, you know, the next time a full moon comes around, you'll be ready. Catch you on the next one.